The Callisto Protocol is probably one of the most anticipated games of December 2022, but the game is also having some cons. Yes, which are the cons and should you pre-purchase the game because the game is only launching just tomorrow or should you wait for the reviews? Let's quickly talk about in this video. One the major issue is the Denuvo anti-temper DRM. We all did not anticipate that this game will gonna be having a third party anti-cheat anti-temper DRM like Denuvo. Given the fact that this game does not have any multiplayer mode any dedicated multiplayer mode of all sort many of the companies recently we have seen that they give multiplayer modes to actually make fun and to actually make players enjoy their particular game but this game i think this will gonna be a single player game mostly i think denivo was not required they are just only using denivo drm as a preventative measure also the fact is that the developer of this game is striking distance studios and the publisher is crafton inc we all know crafton is a very big company and it can easily afford paying to denivo that hey we want to purchase your drm and incorporate it protect the game including the dlcs then everything will be fine the major issue was the Denivo DRM. We all know performance impacts of Denivo DRM. Let's quickly move on to the second issue which I do not like about the Kalisha protocol. The second issue is that basically it's not an issue, the system requirements. Given the fact that GTX 1060 is quite old GPU, it is quite acceptable that the 1060 is the minimum system requirement for this game we have seen gtx 1050 tr becoming the least system requirement for games which had new in the past like resident evil village also the upcoming resident evil 4 remake is having new drm but the thing is the new drm can actually cause huge stutters performance issues and other things but my argument here is that 8 gb of ram is required it is absolutely fine i accept it but a 6 gb 1060 is certain Certainly causing problems can cause problems to GTX 1650 users because 6 GB of VRAM is quite a lot of GPU memory. Given the fact that this is a 2022 AAA title, we cannot expect it to perform very good on mid-range GPUs like GTX 1650. So if you are having a 1650 1050 Ti, just do not pre-purchase the game. Wait for the game to come out and check out the benchmarks on YouTube and check whether the game is properly optimized or not. Mostly games which have Denivo, we can see 10% to 15% of performance reduction. So if you are a GTX 1650 or 1050 Ti owner, I would highly recommend you not to pre-purchase the game and wait for the benchmarks instead. Only one day is to go until the game launches. So please be patient and if the game comes out to be optimized good enough for your GPU, you can certainly purchase the game with your hard earned money basically and as far as one another thing is concerned the cpu requirement is also a little bit high so if you are having a old cpu like the cpus which do not support avx requirement uh, you should not purchase the game basically because i5-8400 is a quad core CPU in my honest opinion and i5-8400 is kind of 4 generations old only. So CPU requirement is also very decent enough for the minimum. I expect it to be Intel i5 6th generation but given the fact that this is a AAA title it requires very good processing. So yes i5-8400 if you have anything below it please do not purchase the game you will be wasting your money because we all know how high CPU requirements are getting with these AAA titles and it is always expected given the fact that we will be getting the boost in graphical performance and all of the new effects and the ray tracing and everything is required only for you know high-end high -end CPUs low-end CPUs and older CPUs might not be able to give you the desired FPS even if you have a very good GPU so I think these were the three main issues you must consider and I hope you guys have liked this video and please let me know what you guys think about the Kalisto protocol I think this game will be a hit or a miss but in fact i want to know your opinions in the end let me know and i will see you in my very next video